Hi, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can very easily create this calendar in just a few minutes using Microsoft Word templates and then making customizations to these templates. Uh, before we get started, I do want to point out that I have a YouTube channel which walks you through everything from creating thank you tags um, to thank you notes, bifold, trifold pamphlets, number raffle tickets. Uh, but more importantly, I have a video here called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video um, as I do use some unique fonts for this calendar. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go to File, New, and what we want to do is search for um, up here um, for templates and we want to type in calendar. And from here there's a many different calendars here and what I used was I just used this one as a basis and then we're going to make modifications to it. So you can just go ahead and collect that and then you go ahead and cr click on Create. It's going to ask you what month, and we want to do it for May for 2018, and we want the week to start on a Sunday, and we want to press OK. All right, so now we have the, the basic overview of it. Um, our school colors are blue, and I'm making this for our, our school PTA. This is actually what I was asked to do, uh, how I thought of this idea. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and select the table, and if you see this little um, cross with the arrows on it, you want to ensure that that's selected and then we want to go down here and we want to click and if you saw there I clicked on this bottom one right here and again this is under the design tab. So click on the table, table tools, design and then click down here and I just clicked on this blue one right here. Okay. Next thing you want to do is there's, this is actually made up of three different tables so then we want to click on this table once again go down and we want to click on this blue because we want the um, obviously the top to be the, the blue or we can so two different ways to do it right um, if we click on this design we would need to highlight these and do border and shading if we clicked on this one then the Sunday is also going to be shaded which we don't want so um, we're going to go ahead and go back to this one okay so now what we want to do is we want to highlight these row of cells and all you do is just basically um, scroll your mouse over and left click and um, drag your mouse over and then you want to right click and you want to go to table properties once all of those cells are selected. And then we can click on border and shading and we want to go to shading and we want to go here and just make that slightly darker or you could even make that more darker. It just really depends on what you like or what you want. And what you want to do is you want to ensure that this is apply to cell and not the table. Okay, be sure it's apply to cell and we press OK and then we press OK. All right, so now that's done. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to go down here to notes and we want to highlight the text and we can go to the home and then we want to click on again this blue and then we want to click on this table and we want to left click go to table properties we want to once again go to borders and shading we want to go to borders and we want to click on this blue right here and again it's okay to do apply to table um, and the reason why it's okay to apply to table is because again this this document is actually made up of three different tables Okay. Now if you noticed here I clicked into here that's because originally these were green so you do need to kind of you do need to, to reselect your, your color and click on these to ensure that that your borders are going to show up. So this is actually going to show you what it's going to look like. And we're going to press OK. We're going to press OK and we're, we're good. Now we have the basics. Alright the next thing we want to do is I want to delete this picture and what I want to do is I want to put in a picture of our, our mascot our Eastgate Eagle. So we're going to go ahead and um, click into video and click into calendar and we're going to put in our eagle running and we're going to move this and then the other thing we want to do so we can't oopsies so we can't really move this around very easily um, so what you need to do is either click into here or click into format and go to wrap text and you want to say in front of text now you can very easily move this around Okay, you can make this bigger and smaller by going to the side of the image and moving it around. And you can use the arrow keys once it's been selected uh, to move it around very easily um, within your document. Okay, I'm going to make that slightly bigger. And then I actually want to go over to colors and I want to soften this a bit, so I'll make that a little, little lighter. 
and we're done there, okay? Next thing we want to do is we want to press enter and we want to write Eastgate Elementary PTA, okay? And we want to highlight all this. We want to click on the Home tab and we want to make this a 22 point font. And what I actually did, um, which is um, kind of fun, is actually we can go ahead and do this first, is I, I changed this font to Passport. It's again, just the font I used. Again, if you don't know how to download and install new fonts, watch that video. And I just changed the E's. Um, so the first letter of each of the words, um, I just changed those. And I always think it's kind of fun to do and mix up fonts a little bit. And then we want to change the M for the May. And I used back to black for that one. And then we want to highlight this. And again, we want to change the color to that deep blue color. And then we want to make this May um, just a little bit bigger. So we're going to change this to a 42 point font. We are almost done. Um, all you have to do from here then is you can just click into the cells and put whatever you want to put in for the text. So bring flower to school day. And I'm not going to type in all of this. I'm going to actually just copy and paste because um, obviously your text is going to be very different. And you can type in PTA meeting. Oops. And I'm just doing an asterisk. Library um, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then down here, you can put in um, whatever notes you want. And again, I have asterisks. So I have two asterisks for volunteers needed. Um, so, you know, again, obviously yours is going to be different. But for the volunteers needed, I went ahead and put the URL of where they could sign up. But you can put any sort of notes that you want to in there. All right, um, the last thing that I did um, was I added just a little something and I went through and go ahead and click in here and inserted a shape and I inserted a line. And from here, what you want to do is scroll all the way over to the edge, hold down the shift key, hold down the left click button and move it all the way over. And that's going to ensure you have a straight line. Okay. From here, we're going to go ahead and do a weight of this as six point. We want to change the color of this to uh, this blue. And then finally, we want to go down to dashes and we want to go more lines. And then from here, we want to go ahead and select the dots. Okay, But we don't want them to be flat, we want those to be round. So we're going to click on round. Okay. And um, oh, something else to note is if you have this line here, what you want to do, these are two different cells, and that's why that line is there. So you can always just highlight those two cells, left click, go to Table Properties, and hmm, sorry about that. We want to left click and we want to click Merge Cells. Sorry about that. And then when you merge cells, it gets rid of that line because it makes um, both of those into essentially one long cell. So you don't need the um, line through them. And then from here, we can go ahead and have this pretty line. And then what we want to do is just left click and do a copy and then left click and then do a paste. And then we can move this on up and you can use the arrow key on your keyboard to move it around. And then we want to make this white. And that's it. That's how you can create this really cute calendar very quickly in just a few minutes with Microsoft Word and using their templates. I hope this has been useful. Again, please um, like and or subscribe to my channel or like any and all of my videos. I'd be so appreciative. And if you do find an advertisement that is interesting to you, um, if you would like to click on it, that would be uh, fantastic as well. Thanks so much. And I hope you got something out of this.